Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotuts.com. Today we're going to be taking another look at how to make a Tumblr theme. And this is part 2 out of a 3 part video series. In part 1, we designed the theme using Adobe Photoshop. Now this part wasn't really an essential part, but I decided to design the theme to give you guys an idea of what it's going to look like and to make it easier for us when actually coding it. And this is what we came up with. It's a really simple design. In part two, we're going to take a look at coding the HTML and the CSS. So this part is basically going to be like we're making a web page. And part three, we're going to add the Tumblr code and the Tumblr loop to actually make it a Tumblr theme and make all the posts and the content appear. So in this part, we're going to get started by coding in Tumblr directly. So I'm going to minimize Photoshop and let's open up Tumblr. You want to visit your Tumblr page. So in this case, it's octotoots.tumblr.com for me. And when I sign in and I'm on the page, I want to click on Customize. It's on the upper right-hand corner. Under Theme, you want to click on Edit HTML. And you probably have another theme installed. So what you want to do is select all of this and delete it. And what you want to do is paste this code into it. I'll provide the link to this code in the video description below. But you really don't want to use this code. The main code that you want to use is going to be in the next tutorial with the completed Tumblr theme uh, that shows the actual post and the content. And I'll show you guys why. So I'm going to copy all of this and paste it and click Update Preview. All we have is the main content area and the sidebar. So right now, all we have is a web page. We don't have any Tumblr posts. We don't have any pages or anything. And that's exactly what this tutorial is. So we just have the HTML and the CSS code. Now, what I'm going to do for you guys is just go over this code so you guys can understand it more. And then in next week's video, when we actually add the Tumblr part of this code, that's when the theme will be completed. And that's when you should actually paste the code and actually use the theme. So with that being said, let's go and start reviewing this code. I'm going to review all of this code so you guys actually know what it means so you can edit it to your liking to make your own version of your theme. So this code starts off with an opening HTML tag and what that does is tells Tumblr that all of this code that's about to follow is HTML code. Next up is this head tag tells Tumblr that everything over here is the header. So this link rel shortcut icon tag is for the favicon. If you don't know what a favicon is, it's basically that little icon in the corner of tabs when you open a new tab. Next up, this link rel alternate shows the RSS. So this pretty much calls the RSS feed for this Tumblr blog into action. Next up, this block description calls the description into action. So when there's a description in action, when you actually have a description typed, it's going to make it show up. All of these with the meta names. Um, are preset colors for preset things. So meta name color colon background has a content of hashtag 0182AC. And that's this light blue color you see over here. We decided on that color when we were designing the theme. Now, if you want to change these, you wouldn't change them over here. I have these preset for a reason. What you want to do is just make sure you have the update preview and then go back to appearance and you could actually change them in this appearance tag. So background, just click right here and you could change the color from over here. So you don't actually have to mess with the coding. I made everything changeable in this theme down to the background, to the content area, and even this uh, border you see over here. So now back to the code, I'm going to scroll down a little bit more and we're actually starting on the CSS styles. These CSS styles tell these little things where to go. So the content and the sidebar are only here because the CSS styles tell them to be. So to start with, the body style has a background color of color colon background. And what this does is pretty much tells it to look back up here. And color colon background has a content of hashtag 0182AC. So that's what it does. Next, background image. We have a background image set. As I said, if you go back to appearance, you could actually upload the background image because of that. But I don't have one set right now. So back to editing the HTML. Our font family is Helvetica, as it says over here. Our font size is 12 pixels, and the color of every font on here is gonna be hashtag 333333. Next up, this A code over here represents all of the links in this theme. So color, color colon link, we're gonna go back up here, and each link has a um, color of hashtag 2EB3FE, and that's a light blue color. And then 
it says font weight bold so every link is gonna be bold and text decoration equals none so if you wanted you could do text decoration underline text decoration strike through uh, but for now I left it at none a colon hover has a color of let's take a look up here that's the color of hashtag 006C87, and that's just a darker blue color. A image represents all of the images with a link, and we want to make sure all these images have a zero pixel border. Next up, dot container. Container represents everything, um, the content area and the sidebar put together. We set the position to relative, the margin left at auto, and the margin right at auto to make sure that it's centered and I set the width at 700 pixels. Tumblr themes are fairly thin for the most part. Don't know why, Tumblr just kind of works like that. So I set the width at 700 pixels instead of the usual uh, 960, 940 that you would do for normal web pages. Next up, the content area. We set the position at relative, top negative 20 pixels, the width at 550 pixels, and the padding at 10 pixels. And this is what you see right here, this little box over here. We set the background color at color colon content, which is white, as you can see over here. The border color, 7 pixel solid, and it just has a dark black color. And this next two lines of code makes the border curved, as you can see over here. Next up, the sidebar. We set the position to absolute, left 577 pixels, so that moved it uh, to the right of the content area. Top 25 pixels, that moved it down 25 pixels from the top of the web page. With 155 pixels, padding 10 pixels, background color white, border color, uh, that dark black color, and the next two lines of coding again make it curved on the corners. And then the next handful of CSS coding, pretty much all of this, has to do with the Tumblr things. So let me highlight it, and then let's go back up and look at it. So as you can see, the posts image display block margin 0 auto and that centers the images inside of the content area. Notes and tags, tags, tag, time, h3, block quote, quote, sources, links, uh, link hover, the chat styles, all of that has to do with all of the different Tumblr posts. So you guys could take a look at that and edit it to your liking. Next up is the title. The title is pretty much whatever you set it at. If we go back to the appearance over here, you can see that as a title, I just put my name, but you could set that as anything. And in the edit HTML, we just did some margins, the font size, the font family, and the color is all set right here. Next up, the header. In this theme, you could upload a header image. So let's go back to appearance and header. You could press upload and upload that header image that we worked on in Photoshop. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And now that we have the header image uploaded, it'll show when we're actually adding the rest of the code in the next tutorial. So let's go back to edit HTML. And the header, we added some margins, some padding, and then I put a border at the bottom uh, that's just a bunch of dashed lines at a dark gray color. And then lastly, sidebar UL, um, this is the pages that are going to be stacked on top of each other. I set the margins, the list type, and the font size. So that wraps it up for the style. Now we head into the actual um, HTML code for these divs with the container, the content, and the sidebar. So we close the header tag and we open up the body tag and it says right here start HTML I made a div for the container which is as I said both the content and the sidebar put together I made a div for the content and I closed that div um, we'll be putting a lot of code in between um, well inside of this div later on and then in the sidebar I made another div for the sidebar we'll be putting a lot of code uh, such as the title um, your image the pages uh, your description, all of that will be going in the sidebar. And that's pretty much it. I just close up those div tags, close up the body tag and the HTML tag, and this is what we have so far. It doesn't look like much now, but in the next tutorial where we add the actual content and the posts and the pages and all that type of stuff, it'll look more like a Tumblr layout. But that's it for this video tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys learned something new. I hope all that coding helps so you guys could actually take a look at it and edit it to your liking to make your own Tumblr theme. And that's it for now. I'll see you guys in a week and we'll finish up this Tumblr theme. Till next time, this is Octotits.com. Thank you for watching.